Hey everyone, today we are playing on Dragonshire. Looks like we are the fourth pick and we are banning. Interesting. Alright, so I'm just going to ban Garrosh as no one wants to deal with him. Uh, looks like our teammates are Jim Shoes, Zero Sylph, Eggs and Bacon, myself, and Zyrax. Enemy team, Kazdir, Kaji Tad Mal, I don't know, Slug 8, Savior, and Scheist. Uh, looks like uh, Jim Shoes is gonna first pick Johanna, which is a great first pick. Start off with a tank, hard to counter. Uh, prevents them from doing some auto attack damage, um, as she does have a blind. <laughs> looks like Zero Self wants to play Nazebo, Eggs and Bacon, still undecided. Let's see how they're gonna open up their first two picks. I'm assuming it's going to oh auto attacker into a Johanna excellent and we got a Leoric percentage based uh, damage against um, a high percentage health hero I like that I like it eggs and bacon most likely gonna go with oh a healer excellent uh, ancestral on a Johanna will be able to do a lot of damage um, Nazebo is, would be a soul laner, so how can we combo with this? We do have a mage, so we would want a auto attack damage dealer, but whom do we want? Whom do we want? Um, let's look at our assassins that we have available. The... Okay, who do we want to ban? Who do we want to ban? We have some burst. Sustained healing is not going to be terrible. Um, we can just get rid of Stukov. Ban Stukov. Okay, so back to our deliberation as to what we want. So, I can go with Rainer. I could go with the butcher. Interesting. The butcher is a not a terrible idea. They are going to have to go with a a second um Yeah, I like this. They are going to have to go with the second tank because the Auric is not a solo tank. So, guess not. Looks like we are just going to melt this Leoric and then dive on their back line. So, Chromie is the final pick there. Zero 2 is like an automatic pick. Very interesting. Um... Chromie does have vision, so we're fine there, so they can just lay down every once in a while. I'm trying to think here as to what's going to happen. That Leoric is going to come at us. I'm hopefully going to melt her down. Nazebo is going to do a heck of a lot of damage. Chromie is going to be poking them. Uh, so, I'm not sure if you uh, caught my thought there. With Chromie, we're going to have a lot of burst damage, so it's not a lot of sustained damage. That's why I'm not... Uh, that's why I let the uh, Morales go through, is because she will have to concentrate on one, and if you burst them down, it's like her value is now done. Um, she does bring a global if she does go with that alt. However, she might um, try to... Not nano boost. Uh, Stim drone. Vivala or... Malthale, and if Malthale does jump in on our front line, Johanna, which is another percentage-based thing, I'm going to use my grenade to knock her back. Uh, we are going to go with 
uh, press the advantage. Okay. So, let's hope that this works. Um, we got ten seconds left. I do have limited range here. Um, as let's, I'm not sure what my auto attack range is, but um, with Chromie, we can pretty much outrange everyone. Oh, getting those stacks, getting them stacks. Okay. Let's just go ahead and switch to our soul lanes as we do need to. Alright, Excellent, excellent. So me versus Malthy, I'm not sure who wins that. As we both have percentage based damage. Let's go ahead and dodge that. We'll just go ahead. Just have a look. Oh, Daddy Lake. That hero must be taken out. Okay. And soon. I think we won that exchange, so we'll just go ahead and make sure we deal as much damage to the wave as we can. Uh, level four, we are gonna go with in the rhythm. Try to increase our duration of our D. I am expecting the Zero Tool to come down and gank me very soon. Okay, looks like... The mouth ale did take the camp. Obviously very slowly, but did take the camp. Alright. Looks like I am going to be losing this. And it looks like the Nazebo doesn't understand that you have to capture the point. Oh, dang. Well done. Okay. We did quite well there. So we are going to go with Concussion Grenade, Radius, and Knockback. I'm not sure who took this. Could have been Zeratul. Maybe Avala. Okay. 
We went ahead and took that. Alright. Excellent. Thank you, team. That hero must be taken out and soon. I didn't hear no magic word. That hero must be taken out and soon. Eggs and bacon does need to leave. I'm just trying to. Okay. What are you doing? Go here. Let's go and I am actually with the I'm very much on the um, the Rhaegar's opinion here is to how did we lose that when okay Done, nice, nicely done by the Rhaegar. No Alright, might as well just start using this. very close okay I'm gonna come down here and clean up this wave as this is a lot of XP for us that we need to take care of oh wrong way we'll just go ahead and lay in on here Alright, so this Leoric I don't think understands that Tychus has a percentage base damage as we just very much wrecked him. gonna go with that's the stuff
make sure that that's all good. We will rotate up here to the middle. Well done. Good hit. Uh, I think the Johanna should stay back. Okay. Now that is the way you do it. I think this the Yorick is not doing or not having a great time. Okay, we are now going to go with Titan Grenade. Okay. Oof. Back to full health. Let's just go ahead and we'll just make sure we get this. Okay. There, we'll just split them up a little bit. Okay, looks like we are just going around taking these mercenary camps, getting pressure. I was well done by them. Excellent. Nice quick kill. Oh, snap. Oh, boy. I am going to... No. Stay with the team. Stay with the team. Don't need to go separating. We need to just stay with the team. I'm just going to make sure that Excellent. Let's befriend yeah, these yeah, I hear you. Snap. I'm not sure why we are doing that, but okay.
Okay. You will just keep going, I guess. I'll get that. Oh, hopefully she's okay. Looks like she is. Okay. We are getting the kills that we need. finally went down. Ugh. Do we go face attack deals more damage to heroes? Yeah, we'll do that. Just to melt that Leoric a little bit faster. So I did die, but looks like the Valad died as well. That was my first death. I was able to get 9 kills, 11 deaths. Or nine kills, eleven assists. Woo! Nine kills, eleven. Nine kills, eleven assists. Uh, C damage was sixty-eight thousand, and here damage at sixty-four thousand. So the uh, the solo tank Leoric is getting melted pretty pretty quickly by me. Oh snap, get out of there, Chromie, get out of there. Nicely done. Oh, well done by the friendly team. Okay. Okay. Let's just keep going here. What's my duration? Mm. Walk the walk. Shut up and die. Okay. I just don't want anyone to go away. Um, go by themselves as we they do have a Zera tool who's still dead. I don't want anyone to be caught by themselves. That's my main thing, and I don't think I'm the best person to be. Okay. Once again, melting. I'm definitely getting a lot more of my stacks than I should be. For simply, uh... <laughs> All right, we're just gonna keep going here.
Thank you for the ancestral. GG. Oh man. Well done by him. Yeah, we'll give it to him. This is the first time I actually felt like I was doing something on Tychus. So yeah, I was getting a lot of my stacks off of the Leoric. Solo tank Leoric, not very mobile. And I just kept shredding him to the point where I, th like... I don't even know how long my thing was lasting. But it was a little, little on the ridiculous side. But let's look at the final stats here. We had 12 kills, 15 assists, and 1 death. Looks like the Rhaegar was the only one that had less deaths than us. Uh, he also did 105,000 siege damage, 35,000 in hero damage, being out the Johanna. Uh, yeah. Uh, so, we did 93,410 in siege damage, 79,934 in hero damage. Thank you, Leoric. 13 death, Leoric. Uh, man. He took a lot of damage, but... 13 deaths is just all too much. Um, XP contribution was 16,808. The talents we went for today were uh, Press the Advantage in the Rhythm, Concussion Grenade, Commander Odin. So concuss Concussion Grenade actually helped out there. Uh, the Chromie was getting jumped on and I was able to knock back the uh, Zero Tool. Um, thus making him have to use his blink to get back into range, which allowed, didn't allow him to have an escape. So I think it actually worked out really well. Uh, Commander Odin. Then we went, that's the stuff. Minigun heals Tychus for 100% of the bonus damage dealt after it expires. Kind of s counters, uh, synergized with in the rhythm while Minigun is active. Basic attacks. So... Probably increase the Minigun duration by 0.3 seconds. So this does... Increase the duration of my uh, in the rhythm and this heals me for whatever I dealt damage I dealt with But sometimes you want a little bit more burst healing so Kind of counter synergized kind of allows you to get back to full health that did happen that one fight where I almost died and then all the bonus damage I did to the Auric, um Came right back and I was able to uh, be back full health then I went with Titan grenade so frag grenade deals uh Bonus damage to heroes equal to 5% of the maximum health. So this, um, once again, just to shred through anyone. And then finally, we said basic attack deal bonus damage to heroes equal to 1% of their maximum health stacks with minigun. So allows our minigun, which is pretty much up all the time, to do even more damage. And our basic attacks um, start, it's just... it. It really made it so that we would shred through everyone, and it reflects in our uh, hero damage here. Mind you, that was the Leoric kind of walking in, not very mobile, and I'm just able to sit there and let, him, like, he does his, um, his march. I move out of the way, and as he's walking very slowly, missing everyone, I'm just laying in on him. So it was, it was fun. But I took advantage of a weak player or a weak draft. So that's all it was. But let me know what you guys think and what we could do to improve. And have a great day.